All right, Rob, uh, speaking of the NBA, uh, it's, it's like the big story that was not a non-story. But um, was it Tuesday or Wednesday? Um, it, was, it came out that the Golden State Warriors had inquired about LeBron James and his availability because they wanted to team him with Steph Curry in Golden State. The Lakers said they don't want to trade LeBron, but why don't you call and check with his agent? And uh, Rich Paul, his agent, obviously getting his info from LeBron (laughs) uh, or the go-ahead from LeBron, said they don't want to be traded to Golden State. Um, what do you? What was your thoughts on this? This was, this was interesting. Lakers blew it. I would have made the move. Yeah, I would have made the move. I, I would have. I, LeBron doesn't. LeBron doesn't have. Doesn't have a a, a no trade. Right. I mean, th- th- I'm not saying that they they could have said for the betterment of the organization moving forward, the Lakers could have killed two birds with one stone. A, they don't have a team. I I don't believe they have a team that's going to be able to knock off the Clippers or Denver or one of these other teams. I don't. I really don't think that they're going to do that or get to the Western Conference Finals like they did a year ago. But they could have made the move to try to uh, change things going forward and also, and I say this with all due respect, also take themselves out of the Bronny conversation where now you might have to draft, you know, a kid – who I'm happy he's back out on the court, Chris, but he's averaging five or six points for a bad USC team. Right. And you might have to draft him to satisfy LeBron. So you put your organization again in a spot that you that probably isn't the best going forward, you know? And it's one thing if – I get it. If you didn't pick up the phone because you weren't trying to shop LeBron, people are going to go to Laker game. Oh, you're selling tickets. I hate to break it to you. Before LeBron got there, Chris, they were selling tickets in L.A. People love the Lakers. They're going to go. They don't have to have anybody to sell tickets to that place. Uh, LeBron's uh, run with the Lakers, I would call checkered, spotty, you know, with the injuries, with some years not making the playoffs. No, I said that. I said spotty. I didn't say a total bust. But but they did get the the bubble championship. But there have been other – you know, bumps in the road. You mean a championship? I just said it was in the bubble. I'm giving it <laughs> yeah, some historical but it's a championship. Pre- I'm giving it historical. Uh, uh, it's not a less than. You said it no, like it's a less uh-uh, than. But, I, but I'm just saying All from right. a historical standpoint. So somebody might be listening to this radio show years from now and go, and they didn't know. oh, yeah, that was a bubble when that, when there was a <laughs> pandemic going on. Oh, yeah, I, re- I heard. Of, I read about that, Chris. LeBron you know, said a, it was the toughest championship ever. Of course. Whatever. Of one course. of the two. And if he would have lost, it was tough to play in that bubble, and that wouldn't have been – yeah, that would have been his story too. But anyway, Chris, I, if I would have got a deal that I was comfortable with, I would have made the move going forward because LeBron, for all the numbers he puts up, doesn't have the same impact of winning, and I think that's the part that you have to honestly look at yourself. It's not that he's terrible or can't put up any uh, points. No, he's still probably He's still putting up points. He doesn't play, doesn't play defense at all uh, or not enough to, to make it – uh, you know, where you have a real shot at trying to win something, and I just don't right. think it's going to happen. So I would have made the move. Well, I'm, I, I'll address that too, but I, first, I'm looking at it from a different perspective. Rob, I would have loved to have seen this. I would love to see LeBron James and Steph Curry play together. There have only been three times that I, I might be, unless I'm missing one, and I, I've, I'll put that out there, maybe I'm overlooking something. But there have only been three times, Rob, where two players who were in the top 10 conversation, okay, top 10 players all time conversation, uh, <coughs> played together Magic and Kareem, Kobe and Shaq, and Oscar Robertson. And Kareem Abdul Jabbar or Lou Alcindor at that time. That's it. I mean, I guess, yeah, Jerry West is not really in the top 10 conversation because he played with Wilt. He's not in the top 10. No, no, no. So this would have been, now would they have won it? I, they wouldn't have been the favorites 
I think they'd have been a contender, but they wouldn't have been the favorites. But I think, Rob, it would have just been so much fun to watch. It would have been such a draw that I would have loved to have seen it. Um, and their games, comp- I know they're older, and neither one of them is as good as they used to be. Steph's probably closer to his prime than LeBron is. But their games complement each other. So, like, you know, it's not like it'd be a tough adjustment. LeBron loves to pass, great passer, court vision, and Steph, obviously, fantastic shooter. And so I, just from that standpoint, I would have loved to have seen it happen. Now, from your standpoint, you address with the Lakers. Here's, I, I get where you're going because I, I don't think they're going to win the West this year. Um, I think they, you know, got a puncher's. I wouldn't even say a puncher's chance to win the West. I would say a puncher's chance to make a deep playoff run. Um, but... Here's the deal. If you trade LeBron, I mean, you're probably talking about Clay with his salary, and maybe you get Jonathan Kaminga, who's nice. Kaminga's averaged about 20 points the last two months, and he's emerging as, you know, uh, uh, looks like he could maybe one day, maybe one day be a star. So that would have been something. But here's the thing, and Rob, you've covered sports for a long time. And you know this can be a factor. It doesn't always have to. And you can ignore it if you're a team, if you want. But Rich Paul is now arguably the most powerful agent in the NBA. Arguably. He's certainly in the conversation. The Knicks, like, don't get his players. You know, now I think they've they've recently smoothed things over where maybe that could change. But um, he's got a lot of guys. And I remember he's got Anthony Davis. So if they traded LeBron against LeBron's will, how long before Anthony Davis wants out? And I and look, he doesn't have to listen to Rich. He Rich works for him. So AD could stop it, but I'm just saying maybe he wouldn't. Maybe you don't want to. If you're the Lakers, though, you can't so, sell your soul for for and, and I and, and I hear the Rich Paul thing. Chris, you know what I mean? And, and, and but Zach you're the Lakers. Levine, you're not Darius Charlotte. And you're, not, Fox. you're not All Charlotte. All these guys play. All these guys are under Rich Draymond Green. I'm going on and on, but I, I'm just I'm not saying they should. I'm just saying that's something that's a factor there. That's all I'm saying. Okay, I, I hear you, and that's fair. But but you have to look out for your own organization long term and going forward. And that's why I brought up the Bronny stuff because that's the next thing on the table, right? And and what's the story? We're going to talk about that right uh, later on anyway. But I'm just saying. If I'm the Lakers, that might have been an opportunity to just get – he might leave anyway, Chris, right? He could walk – and he has a player option for next year. Right. And if they say – just say that they change their mind. We, we're not drafting Bronny. And, I, well, I'm going to opt out and I'm going to go to Charlotte and then we'll go there with my son and we'll play together. Then you lose him for nothing. I mean, so the Lakers are in a spot, right, where they could – he could just walk on them where maybe there was a chance of getting something. And you would have had uh, – Clay's uh, salary spot, Chris, right? Assuming and that was a young there. player. I'm just no. Look, Kaminga, like I said, he looks like he could one day be a star. He might just um, need space and his own place to operate. Well, and he's playing. He's playing well. They've, they've right, but I'm just the saying, offense right. a little bit for him in Golden State. You know, so I mean, I, obviously, the, that's the Warriors thinking is we'll keep him and he'll become a star here, or they'll use him to trade for somebody, which maybe that was LeBron, but. Um, I, I hear you because, again, I don't think they're about to win a championship, you know, with LeBron and AD. But if they tr- let him go, you know, we saw him last night. Obviously, they look good without him. They beat Utah. Now, that's Utah, but still, they played well. Um, they beat Boston without LeBron and AD. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I I think they want LeBron to retire as a Laker. Now, you're right. We don't know what LeBron's going to do. I, I think, I feel like he's going to stay. If but they don't I, take I'm Bronny, certain. Chris, I'm not sure of that. Well, I, I, don't, I, I don't know if, and I, I don't know if it's a certainty that Bronny's coming out. I, but you can't. He might. Le, I don't but know. You're LeBron, but you're LeBron. You can't. You can't bank on another year. But I mean, it's, I, the answer should be Bronny. The, you know the, what I mean. But I it know. It should be but, Bronny. 
It but shouldn't Chris, be about if you LeBron, wait another year. You don't, you don't know what LeBron's health. But but I'm I mean, there's saying, a lot of things that could stop him from ever no, doing. No, I get it. it. But if I'm Bronny, and I don't know what Bronny's thinking. But what if Bronny's like, Dad? I'm not. First of all, I'm, I'm enjoying college. Secondly, I'm I'm not ready. I I average five points a game on 35 percent shooting for a and bad might, team. And he might like, want to take my baseball writing class yet. next semester. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me know if you see him around and get him on the show. <laughs> but no, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I, and I don't know what, Bronny. Maybe he is like his dream, just like LeBron's, has been to play with my dad. So maybe that's, if that's the case and that's in the works, fine. But I also think, Rob, if the Lakers did draft Bronny, I don't think that's the worst thing in the world. I, I, I think you, it got, po- you got four, 12 to 15 guys on the team. It could potentially be bad uh, for teammates. You know, Chris, you know, like people have to earn their way. We talked about this before, and I and I get it. They could be cool with LeBron, but there could be resentment from some guys. It could, it could it, be it could. challenging for Bronny. That, that's what I'm saying. And, it and could I, be challenging I'm give you, for Bronny. Didn't, didn't we talk about this before with um, Urban Meyer when he brought in uh, the, the, the quarterback? The quarterback. Oh, the, oh, Tim Tebow? Tim Tebow. People in there were like, dude, he don't, you know what I mean? Like, like Chris, Tim Tebow's a popular guy. He's a good guy, all that stuff. But people are like, he didn't, he didn't deserve this shot. He didn't earn a chance to be there. I'm just saying, sometimes players no, push back. We've talked, there's no, look, there's no doubt. I mean, we've talked about that. Our guys looking at Bronny like, man, you only here because of your dad. I, I right. don't know. Now, with the Lakers... Obviously, they have a lot of respect for LeBron. You know, they chant GOAT when he's around and stuff like that. So that situation might be a little different. And, you know, if Bronny's not playing a lot, which I wouldn't expect him to be, uh, but who who knows if LeBron tries to push those buttons. But, um, I like I said, if they just draft him and he's learning and getting better under the Lakers, I mean, like I said, the challenge will be for him. I don't know if it's the worst thing in the world for the Lakers. But it's an interesting thing you bring up because, again, I, I, if you're not going to win the championship, then maybe you start looking to do something else. But um, I get it. You know, they're going to try to go for it. Maybe I think at best they could make a deep playoff run, but that, that I think is their ceiling this year.